We'll grab your red, white, and blue to celebrate the 4th of July in Tennessee's oldest town. Melinda Kopp with Main Street Jonesboro is here to tell us all about Jonesboro Days. Melinda, it's always so good to see you. Thanks for having me. Yes. Yeah. So this is always such an exciting time. Jonesboro Days comes around. Such a great tradition it here is. in our area. For those that may not be familiar with Jonesboro Days, tell me a little bit about yes. it. Yes. Well, this is our 48th annual festival. Mm -hmm. We have everything to celebrate the 4th the way it needs to be celebrated from fireworks to a parade, lots of great live music, a low country shrimp boil, mm -hmm. around 70 handmade craft vendors, great festival food, um, some dog events, a Johnny Cash lookalike <laughs> contest, you name it, we've got it going on. Right, it sounds so fun and it's a, such a great way to kind of kick off July 4th. It's not on the actual yes. 4th of July, so it's a great way to kind of involve the family and do something the weekend before. Absolutely, our festival is always the the first full weekend just before the festival mm -hmm. and this year it kicks off on Friday morning at 10 a.m. We'll have everything lined up ready to go and uh, just all kinds of fun. The kickoff dinner will be Friday night. Right. It's a low country shrimp boil that's provided by Food City. It's a big fundraiser for the festival. It starts at 530 at the Storytelling Center. We'll also have live music. We have just a few tickets left so if you okay. haven't gotten your tickets yet be sure to get your tickets yes. and call the visitor center. I was going to say because you want to make sure that you go and taste this amazing yeah, food. Because it really is an amazing I mean what's more American than a low country boy, yes. right? I mean, like that is just something so fun and to really meet a lot of community members Absolutely. and other people in the community as well. It's just so fun. So that's Friday night. And then Saturday morning is when kind of the parade kicks off, the really like long standing tradition. For that is, parades, that right? is, that's one of, that's most people's favorite part. The parade and the fireworks are, are most people's favorite part of the festival. So the parade kicks off at 10 a.m. The backdrop of Jonesboro is just not like any other. It's so an Americana small it town, is, right? It is. So coming through downtown, standing there for for the parade, you know, watching all the patriotic floats with their music and horses and tractors. It's just, it's the fourth of its <laughs> finest, yeah. It really is, and you're seeing some videos from yeah. last year, and so it's just so much fun. We saw some kids there, we saw some older yes. folks. So it's just such a great family friendly event. So really Saturday is. morning you have the parade, all day Saturday, come stop by downtown yeah. Jones where there's gonna be lots of vendors and everything. And then of course, <coughs> let's talk about Saturday night. Saturday night is gonna be Awesome. You don't <laughs> want to miss Saturday night. So 45 years ago, Johnny Cash and June actually played during Jones Birthdays. Really? Yes. I did yes. not know that. That's yeah. very cool. So we're doing a little throwback to remember that concert. We have an actual t-shirt. So the t-shirt I have on is a t-shirt that we have that we'll have available during the concert okay. that we'll be selling. It's got the date of when they actually performed and then this year's tribute. So we have we've located a band. It was actually referred to us by the Johnny Cash Museum. Wow. It's called Johnny Cash Now. So Johnny and June. Tribute will be there to perform from 7.30 to 10. It's going to be a great concert. We actually have a Loretta Lynn opening act as well. Oh my goodness. So it's going to be a lot of fun on Saturday night. That sounds like a lot of fun. Then, yes. of course, we have to talk about the fireworks Sunday night and, of course, another Rolling Stones tribute band as well. Yeah, so Sunday night we've got a lot of fun things going on as well. We have a big uh, band coming out of Nashville, the Music City Stones, which is a Rolling Stone tribute band, and they will start at 7.30 and continue till 10 o'clock when the fireworks start so we're gonna we've been talking with them and preparing some fun music to play during the fireworks mm -hmm. so it's gonna wrap up the event nicely and we're, we're excited to kick it off also on Saturday on Saturday night I wanted to mention that during intermission during the Johnny Cash concert we're actually having a Johnny Cash look-alike contest so funny yeah that's it's gonna, gonna be, be a lot pretty, of fun that's so, gonna be pretty so funny. be sure to go to our, our jonesboroughdays.com website and it can it will tell you there how to enter so we've got some fun prizes and, and fun events plan for the whole weekend. It sounds like a great weekend full of fun that you can take the whole family to. Don't forget about Friday night's kickoff dinner. You can still get your hands on a few tickets that are left. Melinda, thank you again for coming. We always appreciate it. Like Melinda said, just go to jonesborodays.com for more information on, uh, information on anything you've heard today.